Former President Trump relentlessly sought to overturn the election, and today the attempted coup is detailed in this nearly 400-page Senate report. Trump directly asked Justice Department officials nine times to undermine the result. And when the former president considered replacing then-acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen with loyalist Jeffrey Clark, a DOJ lawyer who supported the election lies, White House counsel Pat Cipollone threatened to quit. It was Cipollone who spoke up and said that he thought that this scenario and what they were trying to achieve was a murder-suicide pact and the president should not do it. The committee's report is the most comprehensive account so far of Trump's wide-ranging plot. New revelations include accounts from inside the Oval Office on January 3rd, when Trump blamed former U.S. Attorney B.J. Pock for failing to find mass election fraud in Georgia and wanted him fired. That prompted Acting Deputy Attorney General Richard Donahue to call Pock that night to tell him to preemptively resign, which he did. Republicans have already issued a rebuttal to the report, dismissing the idea that Trump was attempting a coup, noting that ultimately no action was taken by the DOJ. So President Trump assembled a bunch of people in his uh, office and they discussed uh, what they ought to do. There is still more to find out. The committee is still waiting for records from the National Archives, which could shed more light on the pressure campaign coming from inside the White House. And Democrats say Jeffrey Clark has not yet agreed to an interview. This has been a massive attack on the integrity of the voting system in the greatest democracy on earth. Meanwhile, new court documents reveal Rudy Giuliani and other Trump allies testified under oath that they did little to verify these false election fraud claims before blasting them out to the public. In a sworn deposition, Giuliani acknowledged he did not have all the facts before falsely accusing a Dominion Voting Systems executive of changing votes for Joe Biden, defending it this way, saying, we didn't pronounce him guilty, we laid out the facts that we had. And all of this as the former president continues to insist the election was rigged. Trump released a statement criticizing the work of the January 6th Select Committee, saying lawmakers should conclude that the real insurrection happened on November 3rd, the presidential election, not on January 6th.